Hey guys, this is Dan from Ledger Support. How are you doing? So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to access your Ledger Terra Classic accounts and how to access your Ledger Terra 2.0 accounts with your Ledger device. So we got a lot of questions about this on social media. Uh, so I'm hoping this video is going to be useful. At the end of the video, I will also touch on what is Wrapped Luna, how you can access it with your Ledger device and what is Rob Luna supposed to be and which value it is supposed to track, okay? But for now, I'm going to show you uh, how to access your Terra Classic and Terra Normal account. I've got my Nano S Plus with me here, but just so you know, the steps are exactly the same whether you're using a Nano S Plus, a Nano X, or just a vanilla Nano S device, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is open Ledger Live and I wanna go ahead and install the Terra app on my Ledger device. So I'm going to connect my Ledger device to the manager. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Here we go. I'm going to type Terra and I'm going to install the Terra app on my device. I should see a loading bar in a sec. Okay. This is working. Okay. And now it says install. Now I'm going to close Ledger Live because Ledger Live doesn't support uh, Terra Classic or Terra 2.0, so I can just go ahead and close it. Now, the second thing I want is to download the Terra Station extension into my browser. Just so you know, I'm using Chrome here, should work with Brave, Firefox, I'm not sure. I don't think the Terra Station wallet supports Ledger devices on Firefox. It might be, but I haven't checked yet. So for this, the purpose of this video, I'll just be using uh, Chrome and I also recommend that you use Chrome here. Okay, so I want the Terra Station Wallet extension in the Chrome Web Store. That's the one, Terra Station Wallet, and I'm going to add it to Chrome here. While I'm doing this, I'm going to open the Terra app on my device. It should say Terra Ready. Okay, cool. So it's been added to Chrome. I'm going to pin it to my extension bar. I'm going to quickly just make sure that all my extensions, the other extensions are deactivated temporarily, just in case they might um, interfere with uh, Terra Station extension. I'm particularly thinking about MetaMask. I like to keep MetaMask deactivated while I'm using like a different extension with my Ledger device. Um, so I'll reactivate MetaMask later. But for now, I just want Terra Station wallet extension activated. Okay, so I can close this. I'm going to click on the extension. Here, I'm going to select access with Ledger. Um, okay, plugin a Ledger device, index, index doesn't change, and I'm going to click connect. Cool. And here's my Ledger Terra 2.0 account. You can see my Luna balance here, this is the new token, and here's my Ledger uh, account address, which I can copy. Um, now, what if I want to uh, send those coins, okay, to a different address? So I'm going to try to use the extension, paste the recipient, myself, the amount, 0 0.01, let's say, and the memo. So I'm sending to myself, so it's, I don't need a memo. Uh, I only need a memo if I want to send to an exchange, but I'm just going to put a memo just for fun. But again, you guys, if you're sending to your ledger device, you don't need a memo. It's only when sending to an exchange. Uh, then I'm going to click submit. Okay, here I'm getting a transport error. And the reason why I'm getting this error is because the Terra Station extension will let you check your account, but it will not let you send your Luna out of your ledger device. Okay, so I need to use a different uh, app in combination with the Terra extension. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard here. And what I need to use now is the Terra Station web app. So the URL is station.terra.money. Okay, I think the URL has changed after the fork. It used to be called just station.terra, but now it's called, it's called station.terra.money. Or it might be the same, but uh, um, yeah, I might be wrong here. But anyway, so this is the this is the extension, the, this is the web app that you want to use in combination with the extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. And here um, I need to be, so wait, let me refresh that for a second. Okay. 
Okay, and see like here, now it's connect. It's asking me to connect to the extension here. So I'm going to click connect and boom, it's connected to my Ledger Terra 2.0 account. You can see that the address is the same, all right? It's the same, Up, it's the same address. Now, uh, I'm just going to do the process again from the web app so you can see all the different steps. So I'm on the web app, click connect. Here, I've got a bunch of options. I don't want to select access with Ledger, okay? Don't make that mistake. This will not work. You need to select Terra Station Wallet because I've connected my Ledger device to the extension and I want to connect the extension to the web app, okay? So it's a little complicated, like there's different moving parts, but here I want to select Terra Station Wallet. Okay, and now you can see that it's been, uh, it's connected. So I, I'm going to do a quick transaction. I'm going to send coins to myself. Copy, send Luna. Recipient is the same amount, 0 0.01. Uh, memo, again, I don't need it unless I'm sending to an exchange, but just for fun, I'm going to click submit. Okay, post. Now I need to confirm the transaction on my ledger, view transaction, so. Okay, amounts from to, okay, is it the fee? And I'm going to sign the transaction. Okay, it's confirmed. You can see it should be in the history. Yeah, here we go. So this is the, this is the transaction that I just did. It's working and you can see I was able to do it very easily. So I sent it to myself. Um, okay, so now what about if you want to access your Ledger Terra Classic account and send coins via Terra Classic? So what you need to do is, so I'm going to disconnect the web app here and I'm going to go back to the extension, okay, the Terra extension. And the only thing I need to do here is click the cog and under network, select Classic. You can see now it's changed. It says classic at the top. The address hasn't changed, but the balance have changed. So I can see my Loon C, which is the old Luna coin. And I can see USTC, which is the old UST uh, token. Of course, the new Terra network doesn't have UST. Okay, that's why you can only see it on the Terra Classic chain. And it's now called UST Classic, USTC. Okay, and Luna C, Luna Classic. Um, so, okay, so I can access my balance. Now, again, I cannot send via the extension alone. I also need to use the web app in combination with the extension. So I want um, the, the extension to be connected to the classic network. I'm going back into the web app, click connect, select Terra Station Wallet, and boom, now it's connected to my Ledger Terra Classic account and I can see my balances here. I'm going to send some coin, some Luncy to myself. Uh, okay, the address is still the same. Okay, my address is the same on Terra Classic or Terra 3.0. The amount, um, just gonna be a little more generous here. The memo, I don't need a memo again, but it's just for fun. Submit and post. Uh, I'm going to have to, okay, confirm the transaction amount 50 Luna. So it says Luna, but it's really Luna C, okay. Um, we'll need to change that in the future. Uh, so it's 50 Luncy from this wallet to my wallet. Memo, hello, the fee. I'm going to send the transaction into me broadcast. Usually the Terra Classic blockchain is a little slower than the Terra 2.0 blockchain. I'm not sure exactly why. I think there is a bit of instability after the fork. Uh, but yeah, okay, so the transaction was confirmed and you can see it, it's inside. The history here okay you can see i sent 50 loon c to myself so yeah so basically that's how you do it guys so again just to recap you need the terra app on your ledger device you need your ledger device connected to the terra extension okay the terra station extension and you can use the extension to toggle between the classic network and the terra 2.0 network and finally you need the terra station web app okay, to connect to the extension. And this is how you will be able to access, to send your coins, okay, to send your coins on the Terra 2.0, on the Terra Classic blockchain. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about that part, please post them in the comments, okay? I'll be happy to answer 
uh, later. Okay, uh, we also had a lot of questions about Rap Luna. And so let's have a look at Rap Luna. So Rap Luna is now called Rap Luna Classic. It's the same coin. Okay, so Rap Luna has become Rap Luna Classic because Rap Luna uh, only tracks the value of uh, Lun C. Okay, so if um, you can see here, Rap Luna Classic, the value is this, and this is exactly the value of Lun C. Okay. So the reason why, so some people were confused, I think, by the fact that, so they, they, they were holding Rap Luna and they were expecting to get a new Luna token, but they didn't get anything. And the reason why is because the Terra uh, governance decided not to include Rap Luna holders into the airdrop. And um, here's the, the, the post, the governance post, and it says here, please be aware that due to technical constraints, it's not possible to include all UST and Luna holdings on Terra and other chains in a snapshot mentioned. Asset that may not be included and ended up not being included, UST or Luna bridged out of Terra. So that includes Wrap Luna, which is an ERC20 token on Ethereum. And, you, and so here there was a disclaimer that says, users with bridge UST or Luna, so that includes Wrap Luna, would like to be included in a post attack snapshot needs to bridge back to Terra before the snapshot is taken. So what they were saying here is like, if you wanted your airdrop, you had to unwrap Luna back to Luna. So move from an ERC20 token to the native Luna coin, and then you would get the airdrop and then the Luna will get converted into Luncy. But basically wrap Luna now is still tracking. It's still doing its job. Okay, the smart contract hasn't changed. It's still the same thing. Uh, it's been renamed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko in some exchanges, but the smart contract is still the same. The smart contract is tracking the value of Loon C, okay? Because um, Rap, it was never the case that Rap Luna holders will be included in the, in the airdrop. I know it's a little confusing, so if you guys have any questions about this, just post in the comments, okay? Uh, or you can read the, the governance post. I think that, um, that it's also um, useful to have a look. Um, okay, so how do you access your wrapped Luna Classic uh, balance on Ledger, uh, you, on your Ledger accounts? So you need MetaMask and you need your Ledger uh, device with the Ethereum app. So I'm going to go, I'm going to quit here and open the Ethereum app. Okay, it says application is ready. Uh, wrapped Luna is not supported by Ledger Live, I think, so you need to get it via MetaMask, uh, or it might be supported by Ledger Live actually, but I'll show you how to access it via MetaMask. Um, okay, so I don't need the Terra station anymore. And the reason why is because Rapluna is on Ethereum. Okay, so in your RC20 token, so I can reactivate MetaMask. I'm going to open MetaMask up, give it a second. So it takes time for MetaMask to, to wake up. Up, come on MetaMask. I'm going to move this. So whenever MetaMask wants to open. Okay, so it's here. Whoop. Okay, so MetaMask is open. I'm just going to expand the view here. All right, and I'm going to select my Ledger account. So this is the account that I want. Um, now I don't see Wrap Luna here, so I'm going to import it as a custom token. So I'm going to go grab the contract address here, paste that in, Wrap Luna, see. Ya. So see MetaMask still label it as wrapped Luna, but in fact, it's now called wrapped Luna C, okay? But it's the same token, again, okay. Luna import token. And here's, so I don't have any obviously, but this is where um, this is where the balance should show. And again, this, this wrapped Luna thing is tracking the Luna C token, Terra Classic token, okay? Not the new Luna. So this is how you access your ledger um, 
Luna, Rap Luna Balance. Cool. All right, guys. So I think that was useful and I answered some of your questions. If anything is unclear, um, please post below and I'll be happy to follow up with you. Uh, if not, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon in a different video. Cheers.